name of the Cork North Central Constituency Council. Have we a proposer? No. Pro proposed by Kathleen Lynch. Formally seconded. Formally seconded. I find myself now with uh, some time on my hands because the proposals for a number of motions uh, haven't offered. Uh, two people have indicated to me uh, that they wish to speak in this debate. Uh, uh, first is Anthony Gilligan uh, Mullingar, who wishes to speak to uh, motion 26. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for giving me the opportunity uh, for saying a few words. Some of the motions that were uh, mentioned here this morning uh, concern me in relation to things that are happening, and I just want to quickly run through them, and that is the fair deal that is going through the doll at the present time. There's a major reduction in public beds, which was stated here today. Uh, and there's an increase in private beds. The issue of adopting for public or private care is not, an op is not a one that is realistically available to people at present. If there is an option, then more public bed term care and facilities must be provided. Does the fair deal apply to people of all ages who require long-term term residential care? What is the department's definition of long-term care? How does the fair deal affect people with disabilities and mental health issues who require long-term care? Does the issue of medical cards affect treatment and drugs that may be required by senior citizens in long-term long care or home care? Extra health services, who will be responsible for providing other services such as occupational therapy, physiotherapy and the psychiatric services? All these issues are being debated in the Dáil at the present time under the Fair Deal. And I haven't much time, but I just want to finalise and say this. It will be passed and it will go to the Senate. And the Senate will pass it. And I just want to remind you of the last time on the day of the budget when the Minister for Finance came in and he put in his budget the abolition of the medical cars for people over 70. And what did he get? He got a standing ovation from the Fianna Fáil delegates, Fianna Fáil TDs in the Dáil and the senators. They gave him a standing ovation. We must not forget that. And I am asking the people who are going vote for standing for elections in the local elections to get very well versed in the fair deal and bring that to the people on the doorsteps when they are canvassing. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity of thanking Jan O'Sullivan for her help and advice to me and also to Willie Penrose for his help to me during my campaign in, and all our campaign in, in this dreadful thing that they're putting through the doll at the present time called the Fear Deal. Thank you very much. Thank you.